put honest intellectuals. Oh, there they go again! Oh, let them alone and be more polite. You shouldn't talk to people like that. I can't stand them. They disgust me, you devils! They're not doing you any harm. Really, you're obsessed by them. You must try and get back to normal. You've had one shot. Why well, look for more? I would, I would like to meet this logician. If he could explain to me, enlighten me, of these obscure and delicate points, I'd be only too delighted. <coughs> There's a motor hood and him on a rhinoceros. Oh, no. It's the logician's hat. Oh, that's the bloody limit. There's no reason to be coarse. The logician is a rhinoceros. Oh, Where is God. he? He's right there. The only rhinoceros wearing a bow that does make you think. You're sure it's your logician? Yes! Who can he turn to? He's managed to keep a vestige of his old individuality. I'm never joining up with you! If he was a genuine thinker, as you say, he would not have gotten carried away. He would have weighed all the pros and cons before making a decision. I will never join you! Yes, that certainly makes you think. I'm never going to join up with you! They're going around, around the house. They're playing. Just big babies. Disgusting! Can't stand them! There's someone at the door, Barringer. You devil! There's someone knocking, Barringer. Can you hear? Yes, kill it if you want! Oh, it's it's you. It's Stacy. Is Berenger here? Is he any better? How nice to see you, my dear. Do you visit Berenger often? Where is he? There. He's all on his own. Poor thing. And he isn't feeling very well at the moment. Somebody has to give him a hand. You're a good friend, Miss Stacy. That's just what I am. A good friend. You've got a warm heart. I'm a good friend, that's all. Oh, Miss Daisy, how good it is to see you. It certainly is. Did you hear? Logician, become a rhinoceros. Yes, I did. I caught sight of him in the street as I arrived. He was running very fast for someone his age. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Berenger? No, my head is still bad. Isn't it morbid? It's just awful. I really think you ought to be resting. You should take things quietly for a few more days. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I was talking about the logician. What do you mean? Oh, about the logician. I don't think anything at all. I wouldn't want to be in the way. What do you expect me to think? I've got some news for you. Botar's rhinoceros. What? Well, well. Oh, it can't be. It's, it's it must be a lie. I know he was against it, but that didn't stop him from turning 24 hours after Mr. Papillon. He must have changed his mind. Everybody has the right to do that. No, no! He's lying to you! I saw him do it! He must have been faking, just pretending! He seemed very sincere, sincere in itself. I was almost sure I'd meet you here, Miss Daisy. Oh, no! Impossible to find you anywhere else since the office closed. If you wanted to see me, you only had the telephone. Oh, you don't need this, Daisy. I'm discretion itself. Perhaps you're right. Put our tip put on very firm act. It's very rough. But it's not to say he wasn't a good man. Good men make good right answers. That's why they're all drawn in. Do you mind? Your argument doesn't hold water. For the example he used was the chief, the very instrument of the people who exploited him. No, it seems to me this is a case of community spirit triumphing over here on the But they're still the anarchic ones! They're still a minority! Oh, excuse me, excuse us both. We should have given you a hand before. They're a very big minority. My cousin's a rhinoceros now, and his wife, too, not to mention leading personalities such as 
Cardinal de Rey. A prelate. Mazarin. This will spread to other countries, you will see. To think it all started here. And some of the aristocracy, the Duke of Saint Simon. All the good names. And others, too. Lots of others. Maybe a quarter of the whole town. They are very potent. Very. Well, let's have some food. I brought some lunch. You are very kind, Miss Daisy. Very kind indeed. Would you care to stay with us? Don't want to be a nuisance. Whatever do you mean, Mr. Dudar? You know very well we'd love for you to stay. Yes, Mr. Dudar. Simply insist that you stay. I wouldn't want to be in the way. Oh no, but you are not in the way. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I have an appointment. Just earlier this morning, you said that you weren't. You know, I had a lot of trouble finding food. The shops are plundered. They just devour everything. And a lot of the shops are closed. It's written up outside, closed on account of the transformation. <laughs> they ought to be rounded up, put in enclosures, kept under strict supervision. That's easier said than done. The Animal Protection League would be the first to object. And besides, everyone has a close relative or friend among them, which would make it even more difficult. So everyone's all mixed up in this. Ah, all in the same boat, then. Shall I help you set the table? No, don't bother. I know where the plates are. She's obviously very familiar with the place. You know, nobody seems surprised anymore to see rhinoceroses galloping through the streets. They just stand aside and then continue on as if nothing happened. It's the wisest course to take. I just can't get used to them. I wonder if one oughtn't to give it a try. Well, for now, let's just eat lunch. What is it? I can't see anything, but you can hear all right. The plate will be all covered in dust. How unhygienic. Oh. Let's hurry up and eat. We won't pay any attention to them. Oh. All the rhinoceroses streaming out the fire station. They've demolished everything. Oh. They're coming. Oh. Out They're... of the windows. Out of the houses. They're pouring out of the courtyards. There aren't enough of us left anymore. Oh, no! What will we do? They're joining up with the others. Well, come and eat. And you too. I don't feel very hungry, or... Rather, to be frank, uh, I don't like tinned food very much. I'd much rather eat outside in the grass. Oh no, you mustn't! Take it the risk! I really don't want to put you to the trouble. Love I really mean it! I'd love for you to stay, but we can't do anything about it. I didn't mean to offend you. You must stay. I'd like you to stay, but people must do as they please. I feel certain scruples. I feel it's my duty to stick by my employers and my friends through thick and thin. It's not as if you're married to them. I've renounced marriage. I prefer the great universal family over the little domestic one. Well, we shall miss you a lot, Dora. But we can't do anything about it. I must stick to my duty. Your duty is to oppose them. Your duty is not to succumb. You must keep your mind clear. I shall keep my mind clear, as clear as it ever was. But if you're going to criticize, it's better to do so from the inside. I won't abandon them. I cannot abandon them. He's very good-hearted. He's too good-hearted. What can I do? Oh, too hard. Don't go! Don't go! We couldn't do anything. You should have held them back. I didn't dare to. 
But he loved you. He never made me any official declaration. This is shy man. He wanted to make a big gesture to you. Did it out of thwart of love. Well, I wouldn't be here if I wanted to be with him. Not at all. You don't have any regrets, do you? No. No. Casey. I just wanted to say this. I love you, Daisy. Always stay with me. Shut the window, darling. They're making such a noise. The dust is rising even up to here. Everything will get filthy. You're right. Don't worry, 
You did all you could. Nobody can do the impossible. Stop trying to reapproach yourself. Forget about all those people. Just forget about them. Forget about all of those bad memories. I just can't. Just stay with me. I never knew you were such a realist. Where's your imagination? There are many sides to reality. Choose the one that's best for you, escaping to the world of the imagination. It's easy for you to say. Aren't I enough for you? Oh, yes, yes, for more than enough, Casey. You'll spoil everything if you go on having a bad conscience. We're good, both of us. Do, do you really think so? Yes, of course. We're both good. Yes, I guess you are right. We are good. Considerably better than most. Yes, that's how a lot of them started out. Energy! You want energy? 